Hey, today we're talking with Michael Sorg of Sorgatron Media. He's the uh, genius and the semi-bionic man behind the uh, Journal of Lifestyle Medicine podcast, although he tries to be real humble about it. We're going to talk uh, for a couple of minutes about our upcoming event uh, at the end of March. We're calling this Podcasting Essentials for Practitioners and Small Businesses. How are you doing today, Michael? Excellent, excellent. Again, uh, gearing up for my podcast day, actually. You're, you're yeah. the one of many, many, many recordings that we have every Tuesday here. Yeah, how many how many podcasts do you actually do on Tuesday? Oh, geez, uh, Tuesday night we record uh, about five of them, and then we also have uh, every morning I do three kind of little bitty ones for uh, different topics, uh, at least four days a week. Uh, we do one for Seclair. Then there's a whole bunch that we do as hangouts uh, that myself and a bunch of my friends do uh, as part of the network, uh, okay. just like we're doing this one here, actually. Right, right. We're we're actually doing what we're going to give a class about at the end of the mar end of the month here. So um, I just wanted people to to know you and know what we're talking about. But uh, we're going to be talking about exactly. Well, your part of it is exactly what are the technical aspects and and you know things that you mostly already have at your fingertips. Right. It's pretty easy technically to actually start podcasting. Easy with patience. Uh, I, I, yeah. my, my new catchphrase is anybody can do this stuff with patience because things will go wrong when it comes to technology, of course. And if you can fight through that a little bit uh, and get everything hooked up, you're going to be good to go and be able to do something as high quality as what we're doing here. Now, I do with a lot of these podcasts, I have my setup here. I have multiple computers to bring people in, you know, you know, much in the same vein like we're doing now. And, and I'm switching on a different software that, that costs a couple hundred bucks. But but more and more, that's not necessary anymore. We're doing this with, other than the same webcam, which is frankly a $30 webcam that you can pick up anywhere on Amazon, whatever. Um, we're hooked up, and I'm plugged in, and we're, you know, with a good connection, um, maybe about $100, $200 of equipment to get something uh, pretty okay. Uh, you could be doing some good-looking videos in, in no time. Yeah, Google Hangout is really uh, uh, an interesting tool to use. First of all, it's free. Now, you and I both do a lot of these podcasts, so we know it's not problem-free, <laughs> but it's it's money-free to use it. Um, but the real fun part about it is you can take a, an on-air podcast and instantly turn it into a recorded YouTube video. And the best part as a journalist is it also gives me a transcript of it. It's not an accurate transcript all the time, but it's accurate enough that when I want to pull out some text uh, or write an article about an interview that I've done, it's all right there at my fingertips. Right, and just that fact that you're uh, going straight into YouTube, you're already part of the Google machine, and, and, and if you name that thing, you're already where everybody is right now for video. Um, it is the platform, more or less, uh, for anybody to find anything. Uh, and, and, and as long as you just want to be discovered with your video, you put it there. Um, and you can use that video. You don't have to put, worry about putting videos on a server like we used to, right? YouTube pretty much takes care of it, and then you can yeah. put it on your website, your Twitter, your Facebook, and really kind of uh, expand out and give somebody, you know, somebody uh, a, a piece of you before they come to you exactly. for your service. Exactly, and that's and that's what I'll, I'll be talking about is how to use this content. Once we record, you know, it's great the technical side; it's fairly easy, a little patience, and a couple hundred bucks. But what do we talk about that actually is going to work in marketing? And so exactly. what we've got, uh, what we're doing right here is to create a conversation about an event that we're going to have, generate some interest. We're going to put this video out on YouTube. We're going to email it out to our customers and clients. Uh, our whole, uh, you know, our whole webosphere will be abuzz mm -hmm. with this new video, and uh, that will generate the kind of clients that we want because people that are interested in it will share it on Facebook with other people who might be interested in it, and that's really the way marketing is done today. And that's that. I think you talk a little bit about that. That's it's such a big shift in the dynamics of advertising. That's right. Um, there's a, a lot of the. Um idea about advertising, uh, one idea is uh, we just kind of shrunk the world, you know. Um, we all knew, you know, uh, who our baker was in town and everything like that. And now because of social media, um, there's more direct access to the brands or your company, you know. Um, I don't have to be in the neighborhood of this acupuncture specialist to find out more about what she's doing and the stuff that she's promoting and stuff about acupuncture and everything. And she then becomes my 
my my information specialist on the topic, and I'm going to go for her for business, right? Um, you know, or or a nutritionist that that blogs about food. Now she's the expert, and now she's the one that I'm going to go to if I have questions about nutrition or need counseling or anything of the sort. Exactly right. That's our mission here with the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, and uh, you've said it better than I have many times. So uh, it's going to be a fun event, March 26th, Thursday evening at Roland Seafood Grill down in the Strip District, Dan, near Dantan, but uh, down the Strip District, and at. Um, pretty close to Yinzers, actually, a couple blocks from Yinzers if you need to pick up some uh, Penguins gear or Steeler gear or baseball gear. Um, you're going to start to talk about seven. We will record it. And we'll use this here Google Hangout gizmo and uh, put it out hopefully uh, live as well. Potentially, I want to go over there, get one of each team, and just be decked out for my presentation. Potentially, yeah. no promises, but I like to support the locals. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, very good, sir. Uh, we will see you then. Thanks for talking with us today.